Guys, you need to forget about these fitness influencers, these people that are putting these bugs in your ear, these, th these people who are giving you these ideas, uh, trying to sell you on these unique selling propositions, trying to tell you that this one secret that they found is the secret and that they figured it out and, and this is why all your, your diets and all your exercise regimes have failed. And unfortunately, um, they don't know why. Uh, they may think they know, they may hone in on a specific detail of a, of a good plan, um, but there's a number of reasons why plans don't work. Uh, it has a lot to do with timing, has a lot to do with motivation, has a lot to do with uh, how your plan fits your lifestyle, it has a lot to do with how clear you are with your goals, like I've said this before, don't ask for more motivation, ask for more clarity. Uh, it has a lot to do with um, the way you're thinking about your goal, it has to do with what timeline you put in. There's a lot of factors that go in, uh, and this is why goal setting is extremely important. You need to look, when you first get started, or even at this point, you're looking at, okay, how do I know that I'm gonna get to my goal? Like, what is that end result? What does that look like? Because you need to be able to look at where you are, where that thing is and what the difference is and that you're slowly moving towards that. If you just have this general idea of where you want to be and a general idea of where you are, how do you ever know you're moving forward? Because all it's going to take is one bad day where you subjectively say to yourself, I don't feel like this is working. And then you just give up. And anybody who's worked with me long enough knows that they've had those thoughts, but I have forced them to be more objective. I, I like to object, subjective feelings. It is important to feel better, and I, I absolutely will, will follow that with you. But objectivity is the, the key here because we can easily have this conversation with ourselves in the mirror and decide, ah, I don't think this is working. Uh, but you don't know. How do you know it's working? Do you know where you're going? Do you know where you are? So you need to know exactly where you are first, I think. Then you have to decide where you'd like to be. And if at some level you need to have some detail, whether it's a certain number, whether it's a certain size, whether it's a certain activity you wanna be able to do, you need, you need an end result because you need to be able to, from time to time, measure against that to see if you're moving in the right direction. Because if, if your goal is to be able to run five kilometers and you never measure how far you're going, how do you know that you've not already ran five kilometers? Or how do you know that you've only ran 500 meters? The whole point is you need to be able to measure the progress towards that and stop being subjective about it. So we need to come together and think about where you wanna go, where you currently are, and then find out the steps in between that two. So like you're, you're plugging in into your GPS, you're starting at point A, where you are, point B is your destination you wanna to go to, and the GPS gives you a little route to get there. This little route is the plan, this is the activities that you're choosing, the resistance training, the, the details along that way, you know, your calorie deficit or, or calorie uh, surplus if you're looking to gain. Like there's all these things that are, are the, the path, the, the directions to get from point A to point B. Uh, and what actually gets you there is the fuel, the energy, the motivation. You do need to top up from time to time. But I, I, wanna, I like that, that metaphor, uh, but I want to talk more about where you are and, and how to pick the right plan for you. You've got to take into consideration how much time you have. You've got to take into consideration what you have in terms of opportunity. Can you go to a gym? Can you work out at home? Do you have time to work out? Like, What are these things? And then you contrast that versus the, the hierarchy of fat loss, if fat loss is your goal. So you, you, you first and foremost need to take care of nutrition uh, because nutrition doesn't take any more time. So if you're time strapped, nutrition is first. And then once you get good at nutrition, you get even better at nutrition. It's no, it's no uh, coincidence that's the first two rungs or the first two levels of the pyramid for the hierarchy of, of, of fat loss. Then you go into resistance training in a high intensity setting, high intensity uh, uh, cardio, and then you know the activities of daily living. You might only really have opportunity right now to, to, to deal with the bottom and the top, and together they add up to something. Uh, would do they add up as fast as the bottom two, the bottom three? No, because what you want to do is have the most of the foundation first before you get build up on the ladder or the the pyramid in this case. But if you can at least tackle one and maybe some extra walking in a day, that's a place to start. You need to reverse engineer your plan based on where you are, your opportunities. So don't try to fit a round peg in a square hole, as they call it. You need to find a plan that fits few. 
And the best way to do that is to have somebody sit there and, and go through the goal setting with you. Uh, there is some on my blog. There's a whole worksheet that you can help yourself to find how to do the goal setting. Uh, and then you, there's even an agreement for that you'll sign for yourself, making an agreement that you're going to do this for yourself. So you're making a commitment to yourself. But again, that's another aside. The whole point goes back to this. It is not this one magic thing that you're not thinking about. It's not this one exercise. It's not this one uh, piece of equipment. It's not this one exercise that that burns 80,000 more calories. No, it's not this stuff. It's not the stuff that you see on an infomercial or on Instagram. It's the basics. And we've talked about the basics a number of times. The basics fit them into your, your what you currently can do in order of importance, in order of effectiveness, and then just build up from there. And then eventually you're gonna go from point A to point B. But again, you can't know that you're making progress unless you've assessed where you are and where you need to go. Thank you.